Welcome back to Jefferson's Stop reaction. It. You're not. You're doing it again. Welcome back to video four of our what? Jefferson series. Oh wait, no, no, this is video two. Oh, it is two. Yeah, this is experiment number four. <laughs> yeah, apparently there's a difference. There is a difference. This is Bourbon Country reacts Jefferson series video two. Keith, music, Dustin, Bourbon allegedly, and you don't want me talking the intros anymore. What? That's false. Because <laughs> I keep calling it the he, Jefferson he, Channel. We're going to get fired. We're going to get sued. You're going to get sued. Yeah. I try. You're right there with me. I'm. You're negligent. <laughs> Defendants. That's where your name will be. <laughs> Damn. You're not wrong. <laughs> it sucks. All right. So we're doing series number four. Experiment number four, rather. Of this Jefferson's Wood series we talked about what the series was in the first one if you didn't catch it go back and watch it if you couldn't stand it what so there's a new beavis and butthead series <laughs> he, he said wood <laughs> that's what keeps going into my head every single time also, Keith is the 12-year-old on the channel. I may be 14. I won't deny it. I, yeah. I won't. So anyway, what song are we doing with this one, 12-year-old? So, Skyper, by the way, thank you. Oh, yeah. Thank you. This is the bribe. This is the bribe. Um, the song he requested for this one is Josh Turner, Would You Go With Me? Would You Go With Me? Yeah. <laughs> Who's the 12-year-old? So... We've had a Josh Turner before, and it was fucking awesome. It was, was that long it. black train. Yeah. Yep. Yep. That long black train. Like the subject yep. material, that the pros, good. everything was just great about that. So my expectations are a little high on this one. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's check it out see if it lives up to it. Let's go. I like We're that. starting out with a very different vibe, aren't we? Yes, but I like it. Oh, yeah, that, that loping banjo was sweet. I'm going to back it up. All right, here we go. Ooh, that mandolin. Did you tell him it was Would You Go With Me? I don't think you did. Yes, I did. Did you? Yeah. Because you said wood. That's right. <laughs> I'm backing this all the way up. You know what you get with this. I love how it's got the subtitles. And it says upbeat country music. <laughs> That's just not wrong. <laughs> okay. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Would you hold on to me tighter? If you're my cover. If summer sun got higher. If we roll from town to town and never shut it down. Would you go with me? If we were lost in fields of clover. Would we walk even closer? Until the trip was over And would it be okay If I didn't know the way If I gave you my hand Would you take it and make me The happiest man in the world If I told you my heart Couldn't beat one more minute Without you, girl Would you accompany me to the edge of
if I set you free, would you go with me? If I gave you my hand, would you take it and make me the happiest man in the world? If I told you my heart couldn't be one more minute without you, girl, would you accompany me to the edge of the sea and help me tie up the ends of the I love that mandolin. Huh. Playlist. Right now, that's playlist. That is that makes my bluegrass playlist. I was driving through West Virginia last weekend, mm-hmm. and this should have been in my car. Okay. That was an awesome bluegrass fusion, too. This, to me, so this is probably the first time on the channel where we didn't agree necessarily on playlist. Usually, when it's playlist, it's playlist. This one, for me, there was a couple of things. Like I love the, the instrumentals. They were really good. the The message was pretty good. It was fun. What kind of kept pulling me? So, music's supposed to make you feel something. To me, to feel something, you kind of have to stay in the song. Mm-hmm. Well, I kept getting pulled out of the song with his range when he went real low. Yeah. So a lot of people, I I get what you're saying. I can see. How that would hit you that way. But it's, so the... For a, I'm telling you, for a lot of those people out there, that's going to be part of the vibe. Well, I get that. That they enjoy about it. Right. And he, I get I get it, but in Long Black Train, he stayed kind of at that low, like, is it called a baritone? Yeah. That, that He kind of stayed at that level for that whole song. Yeah. It wasn't monotone, but it was like... Yeah, same, he, he stayed down that low, range, yeah. right? When he went high and then back low, it showed his range, which was cool. But it, for some reason, it pulled me out of the song. It did not have that effect on me, but I understand how it could on you or some somebody in general. Um, it didn't affect me that way. It, did, it So for a lot of people that will probably actually enhance the experience. Will it enhance the experience? For me, it didn't either. I'm going to try that. <laughs> no, you are not enhancing the channel by, in, by attempting... I'm, a, I'm enhancing their experience. Baritone. I'm enhancing their experience. <laughs> See? It's weird. Because you can't do it. Uh, well, you're not wrong. <laughs> but... You're, he did. You're right. He did it well. It was it, for some reason that just that pulled me out. I, I, like I say, I, I can see how that can happen. For others, are just gonna love it. For me, I was pretty neutral on it. Okay. Um, I enjoyed it. the The lyrics of the song and the message were far from complex. Mm-hmm. You know, every young love song ever. In every genre. I can see this being those, a wedding song. like Those lyrics. Yeah. Right? Yep. But man, that bluegrass in the background just, ooh, it got me going. I was I was head bobbing the whole freaking time. It, the, the strings were smoking. Yeah, I was all, all about that. All about it. Yeah. So, I like guess better than the last one. That's a funny, it's funny you should mention that. Try it again. So, my initial reaction when I took my first sip of it was, ooh, I really like that a lot better than the last one. Then I kept drinking it, and I stopped liking it as much. I know exactly why. Why? 
on the second drink. So this has a really good initial. So there are some vanilla notes yep. and a some, touch of citrus, like some lime or something. Uh, continue. The mid kind of goes vanilla on you, and then there's like a cinnamon oaky kind of finish. The second drink, the mid went completely flat. Nothing there. Yes. It, but, I wouldn't say nothing there. It went flat citrus to me. It went flat with some strange texture. You think that's what it was? There's a strange texture in the mid in, in the later, the follow-on drinks. Because the initial is great. Mm. I get a little caramel in there even. Mm. But then, yeah, yes, it's like a weird texture. The mid just falls on its face the second drink. Yeah. The finish is still good, though. I, not for me. Lot, almost over oak though. Yeah, it's it goes it goes so the the mid disappears, and then it goes bitter oak. Too much oak. Lots of bitter oak. Too too much oak. You remember when you did that experiment? Yes. So he did an experiment and aged some stuff. Double oaked. In a small barrel to increase the uh, surface area contact. Yeah. And. Kind of tasted like this on the finish. It was just too much oak. Huh. What? Huh. Well, I had not read this before. Swear to God. <clears throat> Experiment number four. Non, or I'm sorry. Blah, blah, blah. New. Four letters starts with an N. It's close to non, right? New standard whiskey barrel. Non. N O N. Four letters. That's none. <laughs> Stop it. I can do math still. New standard whiskey barrel with medium char. Okay. Infused. <laughs> Did you see that face? With heavily charred American oak cubes. They threw freaking charcoal briquettes in the barrel. Yep. Which killed the mid and made the finish too bitter. Yep, that's exactly what happened. But it's weird. Dude, do you think they like just took some Kingsford and went... No. No. <laughs> I bet they did. No, that's not... They at least used lump charcoal. <laughs> They're classy at Jefferson's, okay? And I can't taste the mesquite. It's new oak. All right. <laughs> Pay attention, man. Yeah. All right. So what's really weird, though, is that first drink was like, oh, this is good. And then afterwards, the, the mid just went so weird and the finish got too oaky. Yeah. That's Wild. weird, right? Wild. I don't know. That's that. It, that was weird. I don't know if we've had one change that drastically drink to drink on the channel yet. Right. So, 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 so I'm going to conduct an experiment. We are. I'm going to conduct a, an experiment within an experiment. That's a bad plan. You should have a control. Nope. I'm going to. Aren't take you a, a scientist? I'm going to take a bigger sip. Oh God, do it. I, I've done. Yeah. I, you've been small sipping, right? Uh, kind of medium yeah, sip. I've been small. I'm sipping. gonna go small. You go big. All right. I actually look like I see something in my glass on this one, bro. There's not. Ew. That was freaking delicious. Mine got worse. Mine got so much better. That's weird. Oh my god, night and day. Mine was bad. Oh, that was glorious. So, do you know that... Oh. <laughs> uh-uh. No, so on, ugh. So. Okay, so if you're going to drink this. Drink it fast. Because <laughs> a small sip, it tastes like, it's it's the mid only. You don't get the up front. It's just the mid. I mean, it's just the mid. And then it goes bitter. Citrus, caramel, and and oak, and the right amount of it, all the way through. With a big that's, sip. 
That's bizarre. Very big sip. All right, that's weird. Wow. So for me, still number t- three, experiment number three, the first one was my is my favorite so far. You know, I'm torn on where to rate this because the little sip is bad. It's so bad. The big sip is good. That's weird. Well, we got three more to go, so maybe you can still pick one of those. Maybe Yeah, maybe something will stand out, right? Yeah. Something will stand out above, head and shoulders above the rest. So you got a playlist, too. I got a playlist, too. I, got I, an, loved, I love that. I got a nasty sip. Oh, it was bad. It was so bad. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> Him making the bad bourbon face is mm-hmm. awesome. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you like enjoyed it. this like, video. It's like carrots. <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, fucking carrots, man. Good, if you cook carrots, I like raw uh, carrots. If, <laughs> yeah, there we go. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Drop down in the comments. Tell us what uh, country music songs we need to check out. Tell us what North American whiskeys we need to try. And apparently, whether we need to take small or big sips. If you know. So, till next time, guys. See you.